Yeah, I'm gonna have to do part ones and part twos. I don't know what my phone is doing. My phone doesn't like me to, to talk long, but apparently my phone's typing me out. So, um, as I was saying that, and this is Big Dale, The Real Spiel. How you guys doing? We're talking about um, um, the Redeem Team. Um, this is the second portion of why you gotta watch out for them Warriors and why Toronto is really the only dynasty in the East. But, uh, you know, share, like, uh, subscribe, I'm trying to get us to a thousand. And let me continue what I was saying in, in part one. This is part two. Check out part one. Don't check out part two before you check out part one because it won't make sense. But all of a sudden, the the playing field in the world in respect to basketball was equalized instantaneously. How did the world catch up so quick? How did the world go from a dream team in 1992 that was beating people where people are taking pictures of them and saying, wow, look at these guys and they're beating people by 100 doggone points to Puerto Rico blowing out America. How did the world go? How did we go from that? How do we go? <laughs> how do we go from, from America, the great basketball power to Argentina slapping up America? Like when did these Latin boys get so good in basketball? When did this happen, bro? It's not even like Russia or Lithuania. Like, nah, them little, them little, them little, <laughs> them little Spanish dudes said, hey, I say, hey, come on, man, we can play too, baby. <laughs> Arroyo and 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 uh, all these young fellas. That, what was that boy from? From I can't remember. I can't remember his name right now. Played for San Antonio for years. He's a he's a Hall of Famer from San Antonio. The left-handed boy, that left-handed, uh, Ginobili, like Ginobili and them. When did you guys get so good in basketball? And this is the hilarious part. For Toronto and for Canada, how did these guys pass us? Like, it's crazy. Like, it don't make no sense. Honestly, like, it doesn't make no sense that all of a sudden, like, other teams in the world can beat the American team by 20 points with, with freaking first team all <laughs> first team NBA guys. That was quick. That was that was just like, whoa. Whoa, what, what happened? But it happened 2004 to today. You can't, you got to play, you got to have chemistry. If you don't have chemistry, you're going to get your socks rocked. And and I'm, I'm going to go on the line and say this too. I'm going to go on record and say this. The NBA is not the best basketball league in the world. I'm going to go on record and say that. Okay, they're not. They're not the best basketball league in the world because they don't have all the best players in the world. They just don't. And if you took, if you took a team, a world team, like you, you went and got all the other other players all over the world, and you made a, you made a, a team of those guys, and then you made a, a, a USA team. I'm telling you that world team would beat the USA team today. They don't have it, bro. Who? They don't have it. They don't have it. First of all, Gian, remember Giannis is not going to be on your team. <laughs> Web and Yama is not going to be on your team. Rudy Gobert is not going to be on your team. American basketball players currently are not the best basketball players in the NBA. So if you get a world team and you challenge that world team with NBA players who are American, who are you going to have on that team? You have Steph. You're gonna have Durant, you're gonna have Kyrie. That's great, that's wonderful, right? We know what Durant and Kyrie did together, not much, right? Who are you gonna go, get Draymond Green? Like, you're not gonna win. You're not gonna win. So, you know, I'm just saying, you better have chemistry these days. It's about chemistry. It's not about saying we just have the best players on a roster. And chemistry, what we have realized, again, the Redeem team showed that, that Larry Brown is a horrible ass coach. <laughs> coach with a massive ego. <laughs> the coach that benched LeBron and Carmelo in the, in, in, in the World Championship. You know what? To your credit, because they wouldn't have changed anything. But you put in you put in Coach K, and you have a completely different team. You know, bring back Kobe too. But you put Coach K in a team. Coaches make for chemistry. So. I don't know. I think uh, I think this is why Toronto is going to be so fantastic come late in the season because 
some of the things that a lot of these coaches figured out years ago, especially these analytics guys, they figured out that basketball is not, they figured out long ago that basketball no more is about having one superstar that can dominate.